Hey guys, and happy Halloween! Thunderset here, bringing you a new little zombie synchro deck that I tried to make Halloween themed. And I am using some new cards, so it's been a lot of fun. Um, it's kind of weird, Konami didn't do anything like Halloween specific, like they used to release Bones, which is lightly Halloween-like, and uh, you know, they could still do u Bell and stuff, just make it a little Halloween themed. But they didn't, so I'm here get your back and make it Halloween. So it's pretty much just a zombie synchro deck and I'm forcing in some uh, spooky little monsters like Pumpkin, the King of Ghosts. We don't use his effect whatsoever or relies on another monster. We're using Patrician of Darkness. He's like a vampire obviously. You choose the attacks of your opponents. Choose, sorry, choose the targets of your opponent's attack. Very cool. It's I mean, wildly easy to play around. You can just read the effect and play around it. But people don't read cards. You'll see its use. Very, very cool. I'm also using Pump Princess, the Princess of Ghosts, just to keep with the Halloween theme, getting spooky. Then the rest are the more competitive zombies I'm using. I'm revolving around Call of the Mummy. We have Gozuki to dump Plague Spreader, or Glow Up Bloom, who will search one of our specific bigger zombies like ill blood or pumpkin or a vampire dude and uh ill blood of course will special summon a zombie but we're also using super team buddy force unite target one face up monster on the field special summon one monster from your hand or graveyard with the same original type as that monster but a different name very very useful if the card's destroyed you get to set another one so obviously we bring out any zombie we want it really helps with these guys who you want to special summon with either Call the Mummy or the Trap card. Then you can synchro them off. Gozuki gets everything started. Or there's also slight synergy with Armades and Archfiend's Call because they're both Fiend. So one could summon the other if they're face up on the field. Very, very cool card. Uh, it's hard to think of immediate uses for it, but it's a very strong card. So I definitely see it being used. So here are our synchros pool though, we're using two scrap dragons, he's probably your most common play. We have an Armades, you don't want to bring him out too much, but it's super easy to. Just a Pump Princess and a Plague Spreader. Then we have Star Eater. We have a few sloppy ways to get there, like uh, 5 plus 4 plus 2, things like that. Um, 6 plus 4 plus 1. Stuff like that. So we also have Red Eyes Zombie Necro Dragon, who's a 7, who would be a 5 and a 2. And we also have Archfiend's Call, who's a 4 and a 2 and a 5 and a 1. But mostly you want a 6 and a 2, which is your Scrap Dragon. Very, very cool stuff. Scrap Dragon usually has a target to destroy, like Call the Mummy. And of course we're using Grit to survive for these synchro plays, but uh, it was actually a lot, a lot of fun running this deck, guys, and you'll get some pumpkin animations, all that good stuff. So, uh, happy Halloween. Hope you guys are having fun and being safe, and thanks for watching. Okay, here we are fighting a Pegasus. Going second. Let's see what we got. Grit. Call of the Mummy. Two tuners. Super Team Buddy Force Unite. He's got a Vendred Battle Lord. No problem for us. Here we're gonna use Call the Mummy. Special summon our Partrician of Darkness. Normal summon a Plague Spreader. That's seven. That's a Zombie Necro Dragon. He's a zombie. When you destroy a zombie, you steal a zombie. That means the Battle Lord is ours. You also gain 100 attack for each zombie in the graveyard or on the field. And we have zombies everywhere. He's just dumping even more zombies. So we just get even stronger. Hit him with. The 2700, he gets his Master of Rights, very good skill now, especially with Vendreds. Searches and Evolution. Yes, it's not a search, it's still kind of random, but you get to choose spell or monster. Here he special summons a Hound Horde, special summons a Slayer. Now guys, he's going to attack here. I could have done two things. I could have used Super Team Buddy Force Unite. I could have brought out the Partrician of Darkness, and then I would have been able to choose his attack into my Zombie Necro Dragon. But he could have just not attacked, reading the Partrician of Darkness's effect. So I chose to let him just swing, because he's going to banish a zombie to gain the 2700. But little does he know, when a zombie is killed around my Zombie Necro Dragon, I get him right back. So he used his or pretty much just threw his origin away. We get our Partrician of Darkness right back out anyway, 
and he scoops. Great stuff, guys. Okay, Jaden and Yubel. Going second. He really likes Jaden and Yubel. We're using grit. We got our pumpkins. We got some zombies. We got some mummies. It's Halloween, guys. Here he has one face down monster. We're gonna special summon Pumpkin, the king of ghosts. Get an animation with our bones as grit. Truly is Halloween, guys. What is Halloween without the king of ghosts? He's a pumpkin tentacle monster. You never would have guessed. So we normal or we special summon Pumpkin, king of ghosts. We normal summon plague spreader zombie. That brings out our scrap dragon. We have a target for our scrap dragon. We're gonna bring out another plague spreader. Destroy the plague spreader. Destroy a celestial. Hit him for 2800. He's gonna set a back row, set another monster. We have a pump princess now. We're gonna destroy her. That triggers her effect to jump in the back row when she's destroyed with your scrap dragon, guys. Very, very good. Here he hits us with a wall of D. That's nowhere near enough. Straight 2k to the dome, guys. Great, great stuff. Okay, fighting in a Shizu. Going second. Using grit. We have a pumpkin, we have Kozuki, we've got Call of Bloom. We're fighting a Parshath. So we use our Call of the Mummy. Normal summon Gozuki, or special summon Gozuki. Normal summon our pumpkin princess. We're gonna send Plague Spreader. Bring out Archfiend's Call. Swing into a Zeradis. Zeradius. He uses a Spike Shield with Chain to stop us and bring him up to 2900. Pretty weird move. We're gonna set our Glow Up Bloom. He goes for it. Glow Up Bloom's gonna give us a search. We search our boss, guys. Pumpkin the King of Ghosts. We got him now. That's pretty much the duel. Once you get Pumpkin King of Ghosts, pretty much won the duel. Here, he hits our Glow Up Bloom again. Gives us another Glow Up Bloom effect to get our Partrician of Darkness. Now we're ready, guys. Gotta use our Super Team Buddy Force to special summon Partrician of Darkness. This guy chooses not to read the cards. Declares an attack. That lets Partrician of Darkness choose his attack target. I make him hit my princess. That means princess's effect to drain his attack is now live. Super Buddy Team Force to get a Gozuki out. There goes her effect once. We're going to send a Plague Spreader to the graveyard with Gozuki. Bring him back out. 5 plus 4 plus 2 is 11, guys. The Almighty Star Eater. Over that 2800. Over that Spike Shield with Chain. We have a Pump Princess coming at him. We don't need any more plays, guys. Just sit on our Star Eater. Swing till the cows come home. Great, great stuff. There's 3200. He's down by 400. Oh, but wait, Fairy Smile, a Counter Fairy, gains a thousand. Pump Princess still going off though. We get Call the Mummy, dead card to us. Swing into a Counter Fairy. Does not pull a Fairy or he would have gained life points, so he was dead. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay, here we are facing a Jesse Anderson. Going second. This deck can go first or second. It's got a few plays. I gotta remember to switch my stuff, especially for Halloween. My goodness. I could have used Halloween mats, Halloween cards. I am slipping, guys. So here we're just fighting a simple uh, Crystal Beast. He's doing a bunch of crystal nonsense. Clogging up his back row. He's just trying to get out a Rainbow Dragon. Good for you, guy. King of Games bracket is an absolute cesspool right now because we're so close to the end. So here I can do a nice simple Gozuki into Archfiend's Call and swing over that. Have literally nothing to worry about. He's in top deck mode, so he, he's trying to top deck a Rainbow Dragon. Here we're going to Necro Zombie Dragon with that Archfiend's Call and a Glow Up Bloom. Glow Up Bloom is going to let us search a big zombie. Here we use Super Team Buddy Force Unite to special summon another Gozuki. He sends another Glow Up Bloom. We attack into that turtle with our big boy. Hit him for 1700. 
guess what he top decks, guys? He top decks a Rainbow Dragon. So we're fighting the best this deck has to offer. Rainbow Dragon's animation is super awesome. This card I actually really like. So we'll watch the whole thing. There's the Rainbow Dragon. Kills our zombie, but we have plenty of options. We have everything we need. So Gozuki's gonna throw a Plague Spreader. Plague Spreader's gonna hop on out. We're gonna tribute Gozuki for Pump King, the King of Ghosts. He thinks he has a fringe animation. I'll show him a fringe animation. It's Halloween, guys, getting our Pump King out. The King of Ghosts. So he normal summons. Here's Gozuki. Since he was sent to the graveyard, we get a Banish a Zombie and Special Summon our Plague Spreader, which will be very useful later, because we're Synchro Summoning that Pump King and the other Plague Spreader into a Scrap Dragon. Scrap Dragon's going to destroy the first Plague Spreader, destroy the Rainbow Dragon, hit for lethal. Very cool stuff, guys. So, just a little Halloween-themed deck. If I was to make it try hard, I would probably take out the Pump Princess, add uh, Samurai Skulls, and make my little fives and sixes of zombies a little more relevant with their effects other than just Halloween theme. But it was lots of fun, it was way way fun. And uh, Super Buddy Team Force Unite, I think that's how you say that. Uh, it's actually a really strong card. Keep an eye out for it in the future. And thanks for watching, happy Halloween guys.